Hey, what's going on? You guys probably are wa wow, I look awful. <laughs> You guys are probably wondering why I've been gone for a little over a week, and here's my reason. I came down with the sniffles. And also, I had no video ideas. Y'all don't comment enough. Like, I'll say, hey, what content do you want me to make? And then it's just crickets. Like, what am I supposed to say, say to that? I mean, well, a couple of people on Snapchat actually do take the time out of their life to just let me know what they further want me to do on this channel. But the rest of y'all, y'all just quiet. So I can't, well, I, I don't really think that many people care anyway, because one person did, but I knew them, so th that didn't count. Anyway, here's here's a new video. Currently still am feeling some type of way, so if I cough or sneeze, get over it. I can't really, I'm sorry. <laughs> Better to get sick now than in December, because I'm not trying to, no. So anyway, today I'm going to tell you guys a story about how I went to a party, and this girl almost killed herself by running into a gate. L let me tell you what happened. So back in my senior year of high school, I started to get out the house a bit more, you know, started going to parties, <laughs> and I show as hell was not invited to not one party. If you want to go to a party, you either find out from the source or just show your ass up. I wish nobody would really sit up there. Jason, I didn't invite you to my house. You got over 200 kids shaking their ass in your kitchen. How the hell am I not allowed in your house? What you gonna do, call the cops? Cause I'm here. I'll call the cops and say you hosted a party. Wish nobody would not invite you. If somebody ever say you can't go to their party, show your ass up anyway, what they gonna do? So these couple of parties that I did go to during my senior year of high school, they ended up being the same party. So this girl would host a party, not even her house. She would host a party at someone else's house, but the other girl was cool with it, apparently. And you know, at this party, the house was a, a wee bit small. You know, it had an upper floor and a basement. Upper floor. It had an upstairs and a basement. <coughs> So, you know, she had an upstairs and a downstairs, and there would be tons of kids. I'm talking alcohol going around, you know, that <laughs> puff, puff, pass. You already know what it is. And, you know, it's about 10, 11 o'clock at night, and typically at that time, that's pretty much in its prime. That's when people either pregame or just come over just because they have nothing else to do. That ended up being my ass. I wasn't doing anything, and then I just decided to go. This was the night where I started to regret some decisions because, you know, the cops showed up, but that wasn't my biggest deal because what do I have? to hide. There's a lot of people in this girl's kitchen, you know, just drinking, passing around some damn, what was they mixing? They was mixing some dumb ass Somebody had fruit punch, uh, some vodka, and a, this is a long story. You'll find out if you go to a party. I'm not here to explain all that. Let me tell you what this dumbass girl did. So when the cops showed up, there's like 200 kids plus kids upstairs in like this living room section. There's like 50 kids trying to cram their way in the kitchen. Oh, and peep this, the entire, the, the lights were off. All the lights in the house were off. The only thing she had lit was like these damn lamp bulbs that were either red or blue. So it was just, it was weird lighting. Somebody damn near had a seizure in the basement. That's a whole nother story. So as we see the red and blue lights outside, you know, everyone's freaking out. Either they're drunk or they're high or something like that. And it's this one girl, I'm not gonna mention her name. Also, let me add, there were kids way above our age range who were there. I'm t yeah, there were 22, 23, 24 year olds. And I was like, what, 18? Wow, I wasn't even 18, I was like 17. They was trying to get in somebody's cheeks. That's crazy. And they didn't even get arrested. I don't understand that. So the cops start showing up outside and we kind of, you know, tell everyone downstairs to turn off the music because they were black in the surround sound in the basement and everyone down there was just you know too cool to come upstairs everybody down there was lame as hell come at me in the comments I don't care so everyone in the kitchen just darts because apparently you know they're drunk everyone's underage but that's that's how parties go so here go this girl running her ass outside when clearly everyone was instructed to just shut up so the main girl who hosted the party could go outside and be like you know hey how's it going officer but she couldn't hold it she couldn't hold the liquor she couldn't hold that fake ass Gucci bag in her hand I don't know why she popped out to a party no one had her shit got stolen so she goes outside and how it was was everyone who was drinking just having a good time was in the living room dancing and stuff the music was all over the house so it was clearly heard everyone in the kitchen was drinking or pouring themselves some drinks and then on the back porch that's when you had everyone smoking and just you know everyone was hot shit apparently I was seeing some people there who you know got A's on their math test but you see them out there <laughs> like if that's what you do I ain't gonna say nothing. I mean, just shit. Have fun while you can. Shit, my mama would've beat my ass. Okay, so anyway, she goes outside, runs down this patio, slips, and then she gonna yell, I dropped my blood! <sighs> So at this point, the girl who hosted the party went outside and was like, you know, who is that? Tell her to shut up because I'm trying to talk to the police. And then everyone wants to get an attitude with each other and act like they're fucking a special agent or some FBI. Everyone's telling people to shush. So all you hear for about 30 seconds is, shh, shh, shh. Stop talking. Shh. Oh 
my god, leave me alone. Snuggle my pants. So it turns out when the main girl goes outside to talk to the cops, allegedly there was a fight on the side of the house. And when that fight happened, somebody pulled out a gun. At this point, I was in the front of the house, but on the side, because I was already getting ready to leave when all this shit went down. Because I didn't drive, I had a ride. So you know, you know how that goes. If you don't get in the car in less than 30 seconds, they'll pull off. And here go the drunk girl, dropping blunts and cigarettes and whatever out of her purse, out of that fake ass purse. So many people at my high school swore that they had the hottest clothes. Uh, I, shit, I'm wearing a Mountain Dew shirt. You clearly see that I don't care. <laughs> how the hell you gonna wear the hottest clothes but you dumb as a box of rocks and clap? It's not adding up. So when this guy pulls out the gun, everybody in the backyard starts going crazy. The people on the porch were running into the house. People in the kitchen were running into the living room. People in the living room was running down the stairs. It was, oh my God. And since I was on the side of the house and everyone was making noise, I went towards the backyard to hide. I don't know, I panicked. What are you supposed to do in that situation? Everyone's, oh my God, he's got a gun. What am I supposed to do, die? No. So I go on the side of the house and I see this girl running with her purse. And apparently this is when the Olympics set in. So she, you know, she getting in her stance. She like, all right, bet, this gate mine. She runs towards the gate, jumps and just murders the gate. I'm talking, psh, just, I, I don't know what happened. Either her nose started bleeding, a tampon must have slipped out. Something went wrong. Cause she really thought she was about that height and she wasn't. So here we got people helping her on the ground. Everyone's still running from this man who got a gun. It was probably a nerve gun. People just listen to anything you say. So she on the floor whimpering, but at the same time she drunk. So she don't know if she either hit her head or got knocked out by Floyd Mayweather himself. You, you don't know. And the next morning at school, it's all over Twitter about how this girl whacked her face against the gate and either broke her nose, broke something, her ear ripped out. It was so many rumors. It's a mess. All I saw was her smack her face against that she ate shit on that gate. Fell, cried, and then everybody was like, come on, Jason, we going home. And that's all I saw. I was laughing in the car, so. But I guess if there's a lesson, I, I don't know. Apparently when I tell story times, there has to be some sort of lesson. I don't want it to just be too random. The lesson here is, if you ask somebody house that you don't know, well, no, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna say that, you know, if you're drinking alcohol, cause the kids were under, I was underage at the time. So if y'all underage, will I get arrested if I, s anyway, if you go to someone's house and you do decide to do those activities, don't do it. Cause you don't know them. You don't know everybody else at that party. People might try to steal out of your fake ass Gucci purse, Louis, Louis purse, Louis Vuitton. I don't know what she had. It was fake. And your whole night would just be ruined. Go there, have a good time, dance, just talk to people, be social, and then go your ass home because y'all know y'all got school on Monday. I don't know why everybody be thinking they hot shit out here. Like, hey, let's drive up to this party. Calm down. It's only a couple other people from your grade there. Don't act all cool. But no, that's going to be it for this story time. Again, I'm sorry that I was gone for an entire week. That is a long time but <clears throat> I came down with the sniffles so it might take some time I'm gonna try my hardest to upload daily but the gag is y'all gotta let me know what y'all want me to post I'm not about to sit up here and have y'all really think that I'm a master when it comes to planning videos send me some damn video ideas only if you about it though cuz again half y'all don't really be saying nothing y'all don't even say oh my gosh nice video well some of y'all do a lot of y'all do and I'll be like in the comments but come on get more active and y'all be complaining about me not posting more content that's gonna be it I will try my hardest to get a video up for you guys tomorrow. Drop a like on this video if you want more story times, more just randomness from my life, I guess you could say. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit me up by subscribing. That really helps me out a lot. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go take some cough syrup or whatever. Shoot, I'm, I'm tired. But until my next video, goodbye.